craft huh. shows most of my life. Okay. But craft shows are not the same thing. Yeah. They're nope. different. Yeah. Nope. You know. When, uh, how was it when you realized? Because I went through the same thing. In my mind, they, they were the same thing, but they're not. But they're not. They're not. So when did you realize uh, I'm actually in the wrong place? I positioned myself wrong because I've been here doing, thinking you know, it's crafts and it's not. I don't know if I actually realized that or not, but when I retired, I moved to the coast in California and they have open studios there. And so I signed up for that. Okay. And then I got the studio ready and it's like, huh. I'm an artist. <laughs> I, like, I feel like I, I am an artist. Yeah. You yes. Know? yes. Perfect. It was kind of taking that step of committing to be in the open studios okay. tour that kind of pushed me a little bit that direction. That's very cool. cool. Now, how do you sell your work, work today? Primarily through open studios tours, the glass tours. Um, Where you live, shows. do they have a lot of shows? Or? They do. They have okay. a. There's a lot of oh, it's artists California, in the area. Right? So there's well, and there's a lot of artists in that area, so uh -huh. there's several artist groups. And I've been invited to put my paper pole sculptures in a See? In an art center. See? So uh -huh. I'll be doing that at the end of the month. Yeah. So. What about teaching either glass or anything else? Have you tried or it's not formally. I've taught friends how to do okay. stained glass and fused glass, but I haven't done I did training when I was in the work world. Uh -huh. but, um, oh, good. So you have the, the training. I do have that. Train. But Very cool. And what's next for Deb Wogan? My Paverpole certification <laughs> so I can get started teaching. So is, is that piece yours? The one on in the... Yes. That's okay, let's show that. So, so wow, that's, that's gorgeous. That's Lillian. She's nature's librarian. She's beautiful. <laughs> so. Very cool. How long ago did you create her? Uh, she's Pretty probably badass. about a month. Just a month ago? A month ago, yeah. She's very pretty. Very Thank pretty. You. Can I can I ask how you did the the hair? A uh, little coffee stir sticks and cotton twine. <laughs> very cool. Yeah. What do you think, Bev? It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's very graceful. Mm -hmm. She's very willowy. Thank you. I love yes. it. Yes. And she's very actually willowy. a recycled pillowcase. Cool. Because I couldn't get the drape out of the t-shirt material that I had. You, that you oh, wanted. Show that again. We yeah. need to see it's that. Too so, the, the, so I looked for something The thinner. skirt yeah. is really a, a pillowcase. Pillow pillowcase. I love the hat too. I love just the, the flow you've got on it's the hat. It's, it's stunning. Very Thank nicely you. done. Very nicely done. <laughs> okay. She was fun. This is yeah. awesome. Well, then, thank, thank you so much for being here. I, I want thank you, you for to hosting leave. us. Wow, of this course. week has been so fun and so awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you guys are amazing too. I want you to leave a message to get can inspire people to create more. We have a lot of people watching. Brie, for example, that is always here with the courses. She's saying hi, ladies. Mm -hmm. You know, tell me. I would just say go for it. Go for it. You know, leave mm -hmm. your fear at the door. Forget all the negative talk of I can't do it, mm -hmm. and just do it because you can do it. And, and don't expect it to be perfect the first time, you know? It takes some time, it right? Takes it time, takes a lot of broken time, glass. <laughs> it takes time to learn anything, you yeah, know? True. We, we, we are started. so hard with ourselves. We are. And yeah, so you need to let it go a yeah. little bit. And the first lesson I learned when I was doing stained glass, because I did a lot of windows for other people, uh -huh. was there's always a mistake or a little flaw in there someplace. But I'm the only one that's ever going to know that's there. Nobody else Nobody is ever going to see it. Yeah. So Uniquely Debs yeah. is the place for you to go on social media and look for her pieces. You've seen just a sample of what she makes, how amazing it is. And she's there, right? Waiting for you to start a chat. Yes. <laughs> right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And while we wait for, for Carol, uh, I would like to show some of your pieces. Oh, perfect. Okay, so thanks. So how long ago did you start? Oh, I'm actually about four and a half years formally being. Formally and professionally? Uh, well, as, as an instructor. Okay. I had dabbled with it as a hobby for a while. Uh -huh. Okay. And it was a medium I really enjoyed working with. I loved the free of it and I was making you know I was making some gifts and doing some things mm -hmm. and then we were at the stage in our life where it's like should we sell the house should we go what should we do should I stay or should, should I, I go now? exactly and all of a sudden I came across the lady who in, who certifies the instructors and that was in December it was early December January 1st we started renovating the basement mm -hmm. and by the middle of February I was certified and teaching my first class and today is like your full-time business right yes you, yep. you sell pieces Absolutely. you do art walks exactly so do, do we have some pieces to show for for okay. Bev? 
do we have up? Do I, we I, have I, them? I don't know. Maybe they do don't. Have maybe them? they have no work of mine. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. probably we don't have any pictures of that computer. <laughs> Who's this guy? This is Misty Blue. It's Ooh. a heron. And um, she's kind of fun because I've gone and taken some crochet cottons. Nice. And used it for the wings. I've been really experimenting lately and trying to figure out um, just how to get some different looks and do some different things and really have the things being unique. Plus the thing that I realized when I'm at the art walks and at the art shows, when I can connect a personal story mm -hmm. to a piece, then I have a better chance of, of being engaged with the, the client customer. as they're coming. So I, I always have something crocheted so that when they come, I can talk to them about repurposing grandma's doilies that are treasures <laughs> that have been hidden and in the cupboards and never see the light of day. Having to be a piece that you, yeah. you're going to cherish exactly. for your life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't don't forget that you can interact with us. So wherever you're watching, there is a chat box either beside or below the video. We love your questions and comments, right? Uh, at any point in time. Now, Bev, give them an idea. We have more herons over there. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you in a second the size of these beauties because that's surprising. Ooh. Looking at a picture, you can't tell. You can't tell. Yes. Well, if if I had a heron standing here beside me, it would be this tall. So from the ground up. So three and a half, four. You? I'm five foot two. Okay. So three and a half, four, four and a half, depending. So he's a very if big piece. If their beaks are up or down, okay. you know, type of stuff. So yeah. Um, yeah. So you, you said that you started as a professional, as an instructor four years ago. Right. How, how long have you been selling herons? Uh, actually, in that in that particular piece, there's a story to that piece. Okay. Okay. Oh yes, that's there's, a very there, It's a really story. cool story. Do you mind yeah. putting that picture again? Okay. So okay. Um, I had uh, so in February I became certified and starting to teach, and then one of my friends needed some art for a courtyard. Okay. And she had come with me on a road trip to see the person who had certified me. She had seen the herons and she fell in love with them and said, Bev, I need three of them. And I'm like, yeah, I can do it. <laughs> I haven't even done one yet. I need to take the class to learn how Ooh. to make a heron. <laughs> and I've taken a commission to do three wow. in a courtyard mm -hmm. of a hospital. Okay, nice. so um, talking about, you know, just saying yes and figuring out, out the way later, later yes, you know, yes. type of stuff. And so an interesting story on that one is that the, the little one, and then, she's, then she throws the curveball at me and says, <laughs> I, want to, I want this to represent the cycles of life. And you said, now we are getting way too deep. Into well, too complicated. I'm, I'm like, I, I hadn't, I wasn't wearing the mantle of being an artist yet, uh -huh. right? And so I had decided we had a little baby and then we had mom, her head was working and she was head down working. And then we had dad who's just strutting his stuff, right? And how we, and that was the pr presentation of them, but how we placed them in the courtyard, the little one, mm -hmm. the pensive one landed up being the center of the centerpiece. And it was a mental health institution. Mm -hmm. And so that was the pensive one coming in, just really not too and sure shy. and shy. And then mom with her head down was the patient working hard. Uh -huh. And then Gita, got it all together guy, <laughs> was the discharge patient type nice, of stuff. Nice. So, so it, the it was changed the beyond. purpose changed way beyond and what we had decided. You started with that and today you sold over 30 of those pieces. About 24, 24 of them. 24, yeah. 26. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we, we, we know the numbers around that. Yeah. Uh, Bree is asking, Bev, what is Misty's blue eyes? She's marbles. She She's marbles got marbles well. for her eyes. Sandy, yeah. uh, your pieces are fantastic and you are inspiring. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to invite Carol Hutton here. We are going to have a chat with her. Come on, Carol. Is <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. So you're a very talented artist, right? Thank you. <laughs> so I'm not going to ask you uh, how long you've decided to call yourself an artist. I've always created. I've had a hard time with the title of Why? being an artist. Why do you think that's difficult? Because my mother told me that you could never make money as an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Your and mother, my mother, her mother. <laughs> exactly. good with that. Yeah. And yet I've always just been fascinated with it. And as I look at it, I recognize it's, it's pretty good. beyond just crafting. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. But I, I just... Had a hard time. Well, you and know, I, I have never settled on any one thing. I like too many things. Yes. 
Well, there, I think there are two misconceptions we all go through. And one is this, that I have to be good. It's just one thing to call myself an artist. And our creative processes are different. And sometimes we need to go into other areas to figure who we are. Right? Uh, I have a friend here in town. She, she gave us an interview. And I love to repeat this because I think it's important. She's a quilter. She, her name is Judy Elsley. And you are all welcome to watch her interview. And she was going through cancer. And she decided to write on pieces of fabric every day something. Like, I feel really bad today, or today was a good day, something simple. And she created uh, quilts out of that, and she call, calls those journal quilts. And we mm -hmm. were talking about this, and she's amazing at what she does, and we talked about the fact that we like to play with different things. And, and she said, you know, every day you are telling your story. So some days you wake up and you say, today I'm going to tell my story with beating. Tomorrow, you may want to tell your story with glass. It's fine. We don't need to feel guilty about that because that's how we are leaving a legacy. So that's the first thing. The second thing is we all, and it doesn't matter if we are artists, business owners, marketers. I've, I've seen this many, many times in my consulting business that we, we kind of keep waiting for somebody to come like the, a knight and say, I know. Declare you and I. So, I so, anoint you. That's excuse me, excuse me, but oh, okay, okay, sorry. I now <laughs> declare you an artist. I'm, the I'm an artist. I'm an artist. Yay! Welcome so, to the sisterhood. <laughs> so let's show some of your amazing pieces, and I want you to to tell me, Cliff, could you get a close up on each? First of all, the quilt. Tell me about it. This this was actually something that we had a group that in the area that I thought, oh, that'd be fun to get together with other people and just embroider. Mm -hmm. And then it turned into another passion. Yes. Because in this particular quilt, which took two, you know, embroidering and quilting, um, oh, this is it's also, it's also the oh color in here is crayon. And Can I had never done that. Can you get me a close-up of one of the embroideries? I, I had never done this crayon technique, but it colors it in without being too heavy and too much work. So they're really crayon. Crayola over crayons. The it has wow. to be Crayola in that brand. Sorry. Look <laughs> at this. That's the one. And and it's beautiful because you can add shading in there. That's and so it became just this really involved thing that well, it wasn't really involved. It went <laughs> pretty fast. And and this one. Tell me about this one. We have that one on the screen. Yeah. This this one is all embroidery. Okay. And it just was. Everyone that was in the group had these same blocks, and not one of them turned out the same. Amazing. It was great. Fantastic. And it was just another way to, to express and create and sit down in the evenings and just do something relaxing uh -huh. and something different. And that's part of my problem is I like to just be always doing different yeah, things. Yeah, me too. So, so you, you know, yeah. I, you get no sympathy from me. I, I'm <laughs> the same way. So, yeah, and I don't have an issue. How long did it take you to finish this piece? I I think from start to finish, I was in it about a month. Was but I just Not, okay. I mean it wasn't like I was working on right, it every right. minute. It just I would crochet or I mean I would embroider in the and, evenings and and was this uh, machine quilted? This is I have a friend that does machine quilting. Okay, and, and then she did oh, amazing, I, amazing. I forced her into doing really beautiful detailed work on it, and, yeah. <laughs> and it turned out beautiful. Now I this loved piece it. here, I, you know, this, I'm this a big is, beater. I love to be to do bead weaving. This love is, it. This is the one I will never make again. But oh, I absolutely love it. I it's can't just it took, that. Show it took forever, one. and every time I would get the fringe where I thought it would be good, oops, I would Let's need to make right. more fringe. It okay. just wasn't enough. And yeah. finally. There's finally never enough day, glitter or fringes. Exactly. But yes. finally one day I said, that's it, it's done. Uh -huh. And I absolutely love it. Yes, But it, it will be a long time before I make another one of those. Okay, <laughs> whenever you come, the desire again, <laughs> Shafar needs one. Now this one here? This is, let me see, that's uh, Lost Wax Casting. Ooh, you do that too? So I do we that too. We should be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. I love wax, wax casting. Yes. Ooh, it's, I, it's, I make animals I haven't, out of that. I haven't done a lot of it. But it's wonderful because it's yours. It's, it's unique. It's super unique. Yes. yes. You get no it right once it. or you don't get it. Mm. That's right. I've never heard. No, it's beautiful, beautiful. It. beautiful. So. Then this other guy here. You can look there if you want. That to. piece is actually, uh, the bead is lamp work. Oh. And it was my very first bead. Oh, and we nice. couldn't believe I was getting it so big. Uh huh. And then it split in two. 
Oh. I so I kept it, and eventually I used it and put it into the necklace, into the silver uh. design that I did on it. Guys, I want to know what you think about these pieces. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, talk to me. And then you went into glass. I, well, about the same time I went into beading, I went into glass, okay. yes. So you, so you, I did both you set of them up together. a stage for you for lamp work and then a kiln? I have kilns, yes, <laughs> now. Um, I was using someone else's at the time, but yes. The and firefly here? And What's the process there? It's, it's just the same as you were hearing earlier. It's just cutting out cutting the pieces, arranging them, and putting them in the kiln. As if it was simple. And, mm. and, mm. Uh -huh. and fusing it together. Okay. So. so let's give a pan on the other ones. So they are all fused glass? Uh-huh. Okay. So I love fused glass. I want to go to the back because I want to show those two pieces. So can you give me a pan there? Whoops. Oh, a national wants you to talk about this one. So well, let's go. This is one of the reasons I do very a, a lot of different things. Okay. Is that we've moved around a lot with work in the last 20 years. Uh -huh. And so there's always new opportunities in different cities. We got to Abilene, Texas, and we had a pottery studio there. Oh. And I started doing pottery. <laughs> and then one day I said, I want to I wanna carve, not just... Yeah, I, did, I didn't like the, the, the wheel. The, the I wheel. like the, I like um, what they called hand building, mm -hmm. but I wanted to carve, and so this is how she came about, and and I've loved her and kept her ever since, and That's can't part cool. with does, her. Does she have a name? I have not named her. Okay, so you need a name for that. We'll have to give her a name. Okay, uh, those two over there. Mm -hmm. Well, one is just basic bead stringing but the second one the, the one on the end is uh, PVC clay Ooh. and that was a class I took with Lisa Pavalka who's oh, coming here she's coming yes next year she's here look so at that she so does it's a transfer amazing things. right it's a transfer amazing. amazing so you'll have to have her do that class sometime oh, well <laughs> well <laughs> now that I know <laughs> she the, the first one will be a master cl class on Skinner blending mm -hmm. so this would fit really well as a segue and that beautiful beading necklace i use those flowers a lot uh -huh, they're, but they're it's fun. beautiful 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 so. fantastic now let's go, turn into fiber here okay your Beth, favorite show, thing show the camera this beautiful piece okay this is tunisian crochet <laughs> and this was so much oh. fun to do every row was done with the, somewhere between three to five strands of yarn and you change as you go, you, you add different fibers in and take other it's fibers beautiful. out. This is crazy. Now it's I have so to tell tactile. you a story a little bit about this. Yeah. Is here it is, this big mass on my lap. Uh-huh. And I get two-thirds of the way done, and I'm just so proud of it, and I lay it out, and it's going crooked. Sideways. Uh. I had dropped the first stitch in every row on every time. <laughs> had to undo it all, remembering oh. there's three to five strands that uh -huh. you're trying to ball up. Oh. Put it away for about... A month or so and then finally finish that's it some bad handful. words too uh, yeah, they definitely were somewhere <laughs> in there <laughs> this is beautiful how was and i going to ask it. if it was some type of weaving but you wow it's it's tunisian crochet, crochet. which is oh. very very simple and very beautiful very yeah we have a mm -hmm. course here on that mm -hmm. unbelievable so bev show the other one and this is yeah. uh sayori huh? weaving yeah. that's weaving that's sayori weaving and i've recently got into weaving and spinning so uh, look, of course I had to try that. It is on the screen. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, so what kind of loom do you use for that? Uh, well, this particular one was done on a Sayori loom, but you you really just have to have any loom that you can have. Uh, to to uh, I forgot the words. Like uh, the, 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 the warping shafts. the shafts. shafts. Okay, oh, two shafts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very and cool. So Very nice. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a lot of fun to work with and a lot of freedom because. In this particular piece, I was challenged to put colors together that I never would put together. Ooh. And so I would pick something up like, like this purple next to the screen. Uh -huh. I would oh. never do that. Oh. I decorated and purple I and green. What do you I mean? Love that. <laughs> yeah, I, I was love thinking, don't that. ask me what colors I would never use. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the more it was something that I wouldn't put together, the more I loved it. It was yeah, amazing. That's yeah. It challenged me. Uh huh. To be able to do that that's fantastic nice. i think that's part of being an artist right you have to push your own boundaries you all do. the time uh for me for example when i see a piece that i like be online or not and it's something that i'm not familiar with my first thing is really uh, i don't know if you ever watched the good doctor is about an oh, autistic yes, doctor yes. so when he's going to remember the past he puts that number 46 face 
and he does like this. And then he deconstructs the whole problem and saves the life of whoever he's mm -hmm. treating, right? So I go, I go like this too. I see a piece that I never made and I don't know how it's made. I put my 46 fa fa face and then I go, how is this done? And then I get home, I have to try. <laughs> Period. I have just to figure out what's the process, and that gives gives me joy. Now you don't you don't uh, go into the business side, correct? I haven't. You have. I, I haven't. Is I this do have a website that, you that I'm going to start. Do you have on your mind, or? I do. I do. I have a website that I've got in the process, but it's hard for me to part with my creations yet. <laughs> you have a, a huge emotional connection <laughs> yes. with them? Well, it's because I'm so invested in them and I love them. I mean, right. I, I chose all the colors and they're, you know, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. just hard to sometimes to, to let and, go. And sometimes you have the, the fact also that people, you, depending on who you hang around with, but they don't value handmade things, exactly. right? We, we had this whole uh, moment in, in in our cultural history, that we we decided not to give any any importance to handmade stuff no. for a long time. Yeah. I think it was you know the convenience of the China stuff coming mm -hmm. and being cheap to buy. We left that aside. I believe that has changed in the last two years. That's coming yeah. back around. Yes, it's coming back around because after it's, it's, of course we have Australia and other countries watching. But you all know we went through a big recession in 2008. And I think one thing we all realize is that we have a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff that has no meaning to us. Mm -hmm. yep. And then we decided to downsize, right? In many things become, become cleaner in, in everything. And now we are giving value back to yes. what's handmade. Mm -hmm. and, and the millennials, they're more minimalistic, even more than that. It has to have a story, uh, a social meaning or an emotional meaning for me to put any value or spend my money with that. Yeah, or and even to ke just keep it, just to keep it. Exactly, exactly, yeah, just, just to, to keep, keep it. it. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going through this in our family right now that the, the kids who are just now adults want to do things that have meaning, not just stuff. Yes. So yes. that's and, nice and we to see need, that turn. Yes, we are. Thankfully, we are. But it's important for us also when we are creating to see uh, the meaning that we are putting. And I think the parting part is exactly because you put a lot of emotional charge into something you're creating. Mm -hmm. And you only want to part with that if you know that's going to be respected. That's true. Right? Absolutely so, true. so the thing about selling or not selling many times come from that because you say you know I, I spent a month doing this I don't want to I don't even want to hear can you do for half of the price <laughs> yeah or something of the things or we discovered that the dog's sleeping on it yes 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 so yeah. but but then it's important uh, that you tell the story when you do like you you mentioned with the doilies yeah. right you, you charge with emotion yeah and then they're not going to say oh my two-year-old wants to ride the heron <laughs> they, they respect that. Yeah. Um, yes. We have um, Sandy here saying these are beautiful p uh, pieces, and I like the crayons. I love that idea. <laughs> that, no, let me put my 46 face now. Mm, I'm going home today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carol, you're starting. Uh, do you think about the the business side of it or or not? I do. I do, and I have. I recognize. Like with, with this piece here, mm -hmm. the hours and hours and hours that are in it. And I recognize I probably won't get much money per hour for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But there are other things that, uh, that you can. Yes. yes. And those are the things maybe you focus on a little bit and occasionally have some of yeah. these. Yeah. Somebody may. Mm -hmm. Or Just you make for yourself because of the challenge, and mm -hmm. then you made others that you knew you know it's going to sell. Right. So what's the next step for you? The next step for me, well, I did just buy a machine embroidery, or a, a tin needle <laughs> embroidery machine. There we machine, go. But I can't get away from the hand mm -hmm. kind of thing. Part. So my next really strong focus, is, well, actually, it's this one. It's going to be in weaving. Uh-huh. But I'm not going to be able to let go of this. So... There will be a yes. little a bit, bit of everything. Well, there's the seven days in the week. One, one day for each. Technique. That's right. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why people get so hooked yeah. into I do many yeah. things. Yeah. You know, as long as you finish the projects at some point. That's right. the right? trick. Not 10,000 yeah. unfinished projects. What about leaving a message of inspiration for people to create more? Well, I did create business cards a few years ago. Ooh. And on that business card, I decided to put a little something. 
And I thought, you know, if I can instill in anybody, especially the ones that say I can't do it, creativity starts with just one idea. Yes. Oh, cool. Thank you. That's awesome. Perfect. That's really a gold yeah. nugget here. So. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. Yes, and go create more. You, you know, everything that you make, it's very pretty. Yeah. Well, so there you. is no reason why to give up on one to move to another. Well, besides now, I'm an oh. artist. Yeah. Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> She's <Find> the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Look into this. You know, uh, I, I sometimes put techniques in a Sabbath year. You know, this technique is going to take a Sabbath. <laughs> yeah. There First it stays go. there for a while, and right. then it comes back. Yes. yes. Cool. Yes. Thank you very much, Thank Karen. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Wow. Incredible. Can, can, Incredible. Can this you is, wait to try new this, stuff? This is so amazing. Yes. This is so amazing. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. I've been fondling the fabric. You would never put power pole on this one, right? No, but, not at all. But not so at all. something with this texture, for example, would be amazing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What yeah. about you? Give a, a word of inspiration for our oh, folks here. Oh, you don't have to be perfect. Yeah. You don't have to be perfect. Just just do it. Like just it's do it. Just do it. It's and and it'll be perfect in its imperfection. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like just just to be able to and I I know some people are starting to do, you know, the sourdough bread and uh -huh. all that kind of stuff. The and people are just so so wrapped up in in, so in getting everybody. everything perfect. And it's like, no, it's okay. It's okay it's if it's not perfect. Again, yeah. It'll be good. It'll be good. I, it'll be good I think, enough. I think uh, Bev's uh, advice should be don't worry. Because don't worry. <laughs> yeah. So much. I don't worry. I don't worry. So don't worry. It all sorts itself out. It really <laughs> always does. Okay, you call our next our artist. <sighs> Brandy Childs. Brandy Childs. Yes. Okay. Come here. on in. Okay. How are you doing? Doing pretty good in yourself. Sure, good. Do we have some pictures to show of what you create? We do. Amazing. I, I feel very overwhelmed being with all of these beautiful artists. Oh, come on. And so many of their beautiful pieces, and I'm just starting. Uh -huh. so, Perfect. Yes. And these are my first pieces. That's fantastic. So Literally. Celebrate. Celebrate oh. that. So, that's so it's, awesome. it's the beginning of the journey of being an artist for you. Is that correct? It really is. It oh, really nice. is. And I, it, Spend the last 24 hours in the hair and class. That yes. I really started to feel like, yeah, uh -huh. you, I can do it. This. I can, I can be an artist, not nice. just uh -huh. a dabbler and a crafter. Uh huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. And, and what's the difference for you from this two? From the dabbler to the crafter, or the uh, or the artist, the crafter, the artist. It's making it's this where, the transition to own that you are an it's artist. It's a quality. It's mm -hmm. it's it's seeing something special in my things okay. instead of seeing my things and saying they do it better. Mm. I'm seeing something that yeah, I, I kind of do that kind of well. Mm -hmm. Good, so. good, good. Because I think we all do that a little bit. Did you ever look Absol at, oh, oh, she's so much more talented than I am. Amazing talents. I mean, we have yeah, amazing. We have. But the thing mm -hmm. is, is I, I think the trick is to recognize that there are amazing talents around us. It doesn't disqualify us it has yes. to from us. being one. It can inspire us. Yeah. It, it yes. can it can give us food. It can give us it can give us inspiration. It can you know it mm -hmm. can give us so much more yeah. to add to who we are mm -hmm. and to be better because we can always be better. Yeah, we can always be, always better. be we're, better. We're never perfect, yeah. but yeah. And, and we yeah. we choose how we see things, right? For yeah. example, mm -hmm. I have a, a huge passion for sculpting. But, but I know I'm not there yet. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. like what I make. I'm not going to say. But when I look, for example, at people like Karen Baker, Noemi Smith, I April with her details, how, how you know, cute, the, the cute and, and refined the sculptures are, I, I don't do that. I, I understand they are mm -hmm. better. But not better is, is a tricky word. Different. It's very they different. are in another stage of the journey. Yeah. Right. So I can choose. I can look and say, oh, they're better than me. I'm not that good. Or I can use them and say, no, they are my mentors. They are where I want to go. Yes. So I'm going to follow what they do. I'm going to pay attention to how they do it. And I'm going to get there. And maybe at some point we'll be walking together. Yes. Right. It's not the time now, but maybe at some point yeah. we'll be walking together. 
But the thing is, Shahar, though, too, it may not be ever your style to have oh, all that true, detail, true, okay? True. And that's it's okay. Going to be and, this. and that's okay. You have your yep. own style. Yep. And and those other ladies have their amazing style. And we each have our own style. We each bring a piece mm -hmm. to the puzzle. Mm -hmm. You know, true. so very, and very that's that's really important that we remember that. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and I can already kind of no. get a sense of what your style is going to be and I love it. <laughs> yeah. A yeah. lot of what I'm doing is things that I've learned from you too. Yeah. The, you. you two ladies watching you on Curious Mondo and the crafts that then just the amazing things that you've done and you make them look so easy and being able to see you make a mistake mm -hmm. and say well that's kind of a mistake but you know what I really like it yeah. yep. and that's really allowed me to step back and say well it might be a mistake to me but it looks good yeah. so yeah. giving you permission I walk out yeah, and leave it where cool. There. Very cool. Excellent. Let's see some of your pieces then. How many pieces do we have? I have three technically, but two of them are one. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so. okay. Well, we just mentioned Look that you're just starting. Tell me about that yes. piece. This is my very first piece. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. Um, and I sat down and I did this with Beth's class. And it's. I called it Hannah. It reminds me of my, my beautiful little niece. Oh, beautiful. And yes. I have another one in progress that's uh -huh. going to be her mother. Um, and, and then she's holding some flowers? That she no, did? she's Please holding a one-eyed purple people eater. <laughs> oh, you're going to laugh. I didn't get it. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a song, the one-eyed purple people eater. It's oh. just an older song. And when I made this girl, uh -huh. her arm set just look. It just she looked. She needed something. Uh -huh. Her arms were empty, uh -huh. and she should have been holding something. And Cliff ran with it, and he designed and made my little one-eyed purple people That's eater. So cool. <laughs> I love it. So and I love it. this lady with the white dress. This is my second piece. Okay. Um, I did this for my sister. My sister was married in June, uh -huh. and I decided that I was going to make uh -huh. a bride and a groom. Uh -huh. um, and I took the material from her dress, from the alterations to her dress, and made the dress mm -hmm. and underskirting from her actual wedding oh, dress. So, so that piece How is going to have a special that? place. It yeah. really does. See, people, what I talk to you about, how, how easy it is to charge emotionally one piece, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And how unique, yeah. instead of having what everybody has to, to remember, yes. of course, she has those two to remember the wedding, this piece has... Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Aww, it's unbelievable. It. And, then, and this is one of the things. She is about four foot ten. And her husband is like six six, oh, and he's this too giant fun. Too Hulk fun. of a man. Yeah. <laughs> and I really struggled with getting a proportion that, that could put that in there because it's just a cute piece about them. Yeah. She should hang out so. here, so I, I would go around. It would be the only person that I could go be hey, Charlie. with. <laughs> <laughs> That would be my only chance. Yeah, right. yeah. That's oh, so yeah. cool. See, and awesome. So lovely. And Absolutely the, lovely. The uh, cuffs, tie, those are from their ribbons, from Aww. their colors. So yep. I made this piece half here uh -huh. and half there. Yeah, nice, nice. Perfect. It's beautiful. Very cool, very cool. Very uh, and then Tucker saying it's inspirational. Bree saying moral support. Yeah. Yes. What's next for you? For me, I am going to finish my PowerPoint certification. Uh -huh. um, I want to start teaching some classes. Nice. Um, hopefully inspire some people to feel the way that I have started to feel mm -hmm. because it really does it makes me it's mm -hmm. I feel just more confident it's it's just nice yeah it yeah. is nice, really and, uh, nice. It, it, sorry I was going to interrupt you but I guess I you first. can still do that and then I'm, I'm just I, I need to make sure I remember make sure my thoughts yeah but the fact is that making money is very good but being sure we are impacting other people to mm -hmm. be better in whatever yeah. they're trying to be better is even better than the money part. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. the, the money needs to be there, yeah. even for them yeah. to understand what you're teaching. It does. To appreciate it, you have to put out the money mm -hmm. and the time. Yes. And if you don't, mm -hmm. then yeah. 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 you're a dabbler. 
Yeah. And you don't feel that empowerment. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, it works both. It's a win-win, yeah. win, actually. Yeah. And so Brandy is a really great example of how we need to have both. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, because Brandy got introduced to this medium through online. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and she shared with me, I hope you don't mind me sharing this with everybody, but, <laughs> but she was really having a difficult time because when she was making her pieces, they weren't coming up to my standard. Mm -hmm. And she was feeling quite inadequate. Very Say, inadequate. About that, right? It was right? going like, I'm not good enough kind of thing. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, you mean look at my pieces and then you look at Bev's pieces. <sighs> and it's like, it's yeah. it's just it's not there i wasn't catching mm -hmm. the exactly. fire yeah and so what happened is is now she's been in this class with the mondo makers and there's five of them and they're all on the same Coming level mm -hmm. and they're all looking at each other yeah. and thinking i, can I, do I think i'm okay <laughs> i'm really I'm doing <laughs> good so that's something really yeah. valuable yeah. that yeah. you're going to take to your students when you when you are ready to oh, teach so for sure. it's going to be and that's why we need teachers that's why we that's, need yeah. what we do here at curious we, mondo we is amazing and ways. it's so important mm -hmm. but we do need that we need both we yes. need it both. would be very selfish to to say even when you own a company of online courses very self selfish to say this is the best way yeah no yeah. it's one way we do need the experience of every format. I mean, I'm a huge book buyer. Yeah. I, I, I go to, to webinars. I go to a lot of live events and, or live classes. We need that. Yep. So it's not because we sell one type of product that the others are not good. This no, is, exactly. This is yep. very yeah. silly to think that way. No. Yeah. And it, it really is. I, I don't think I would have ever signed up for the class to uh -huh. do it in a class set setting the first time. Okay. Yeah. So the you Curious to Mondo format, uh -huh. um, I really enjoyed that. And I enjoyed because I did. I sat there when I made that first piece and I watched that video <laughs> over and over and over through every little piece of it. I have jelly arms, Bev calls them, on my bride. It's okay, that's <laughs> all right. Like, For a first piece, she's you know, amazing. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, well, that's okay. You know, and, yeah, and really, I, I, really, but, show the, the bride again, please. Does it matter? that the arm is not what it's supposed to be certification wise because of the the meaning that it has to the person that Absolutely got that? Absolutely not. That's Doesn't what it took make to difference. make her arms because they're two separate pieces. Okay. Yeah. And they come together. And the two pieces, her arms had to be that way yes. in order to hold his massively yes. high arms without blocking yeah. her body and face. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. She, no, when, fine. when she they're goes fine. to the husband and says, how are you doing today, babe? I really want to know. I cannot see it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, I gave them to these to them. They were finished the night before, and they were getting stressed and a bunch of stuff going on. And so I gave them to them that night. Uh-huh. Nice. And when they saw that they were separate, they started playing Ken and Barbie with them. Oh, gosh. So, the, and these are memories that are now in our minds yes. that make these even more special. Absolutely. And they're like, oh, I'm mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to know when I'm mad at you. So what really happens is that when they wake up in the morning and they look for the dolls. Yeah. <laughs> See, if they're together, it's all going to be a good day. If they're not, they're going to say, oh, what did I do now? I'm buying roses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Brandy, leave a word of advice for people that need to be inspired today. Keep trying. Yes, good. Continually keep trying. And yours is different. And it may not look like the other artists, but it's going to be just as good in its own exactly. way. Exactly. And you know you're going to be very successful, right? You have to believe that. Oh, because yeah. That's going to happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have yeah. too much fun doing this not to share it <laughs> and be successful. <laughs> Perfect. Sandy's saying everyone's journey is different, yet special in its own way. Thank you for sharing. And Cindy's sending a bunch of hearts for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you much for being much. here yes, with us today. You. Thank you. Tell me. Oh. You know, sometimes you think it's, it's the end of, or not even the end for us today, right? We, we still, still have, have the bash, but yeah. it's a long day. And I, I know you're tired, I'm tired, but isn't it worth it's every time you see day. this? It's a full day. Right? I call them red letter days. Tell me Can about I it. Can I tell, yeah. Yes. And in our lifetime, this reminds me of a story, in our lifetime, we maybe have two or three or four red letter days where everything is perfect yeah. and you just feel on top of the world. Mm -hmm. Graduation, the day you get married, yes. you know, those big, big days. I call them red letter days. Nice. That's beautiful. I'm super lucky. I get a, <laughs> sh I get a shitload of them. <laughs> <laughs> and 
like this concept because, you yeah. know, if you know you have those red letter days, just remember to keep them in your pocket. Yep. Because those days that you're really crawling on the floor, and we all have those. Absolutely. You can say, oh, wait, I have something in my wait, pocket. There's, there's, there's someone who is inspired yes. by something that I did some, done. something that mattered. Yeah, absolutely. And, and if you don't believe that you can change things, and you know, because as artists, many times we put ourselves in our studio, basement, kitchen, whatever you create, and we isolate ourselves, and we allow everything inside our head to come out and say things that are not nice to us, because it's your choice to be your best friend or your best enemy. It's really up to you, but you can change things. It doesn't matter how, where you are today, how difficult things are. Let me tell you one story. So I was in my country, right? And I had this desire to be doing TV commercials, right? I, I, I have a whole background on TV and stuff, but I wanted to do TV commercials. But there was one problem. Besides not being the prettiest person on earth, I was quite fat. I was a lot more than I am now, but you know, it's always chubby, always on the chubby side. And they, you wouldn't pass one single audition being like that. You know what I did? I started a talent agency, became the number one agency in the country. It was called Funny Faces. And I would only uh, hire people that were unique. So long noses, chubby, bald, whatever. And I went on TV and they said, but why? I, you know, you did press release and everything sent to TV. And I got some interviews and they would ask, but why them? And I said, there's one thing that we have that a model doesn't have. A model is beautiful. It's perfect. It shows the product very well. But there's one thing that she cannot do, create the connection. Because she's not achievable. Right. People cannot be that model. Now me, when I talk about a soap, I'm just like the lady at home that uses the soap. Yep. There is a connection. My body type is not perfect like theirs is not. So the selling would be a lot better Easier. because we are real people. Yep. And we became the number one uh, talent agents in the country that use unique people. At, at that moment in time, it was m many years ago, uh, there, there was only us and another company uh, like us in England, nothing else. Yep. Today that's common. But that's what I want people to understand because we tend to compare ourselves with everybody else and think I'm not as good as this person or whatever is the thought process. No, you, if you don't have a place for yourself, create one. And basically that's one thing you're doing with the power pole, right? Yep. You're creating a place in the market that a few years ago didn't exist. You're no. not the only one, but you're doing with your own voice, Yep. right? Any final, that's my word of advice to you today about getting inspired. If you think you don't have a place, create one. Yeah. You? Oh, there's just so much. But I, my wish for everybody is to have a gazillion red letter days. Yes, that's <laughs> nice. A gazillion red letter days. I'm going to just sprinkle them out like confetti everywhere. That's good. And just to recognize them when they happen. Uh -huh. I think if you take the time, take the time and recognize something amazing that's going on, when it's going on, you amplify yes. how powerful that moment was. And be thankful that's for my, that That's moment. my wisdom for very today. Very good. That's <laughs> my very wise friend here. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here with us today. Next week, we are going to have another Creativity in Focus with another artist. Just want to remind you that today we have an online live competition, a sculpting competition, competition called Mondo Bash. If you haven't signed up for that yet, it's curiousmondo.com slash bash, or just look at uh, live classes and click there, sign up. We have amazing prizes. We, you wanna be here 7 p.m. Mountain Time, Google, uh, wherever you are. And I'll see you back here at seven. Thank you so much.